But that's what I was saying. It's the platform itself. Don't get stuck on the platform. This is one of Tommy's best points that one of the things I love the most about things he said. Don't get stuck on the tool. It's not about the tool. It's different instruments for different people. For me, Twitter has worked. It works with my conversation style. But you might find that another platform is better for you. If you have a different way of conversing or connecting with the world, um, again, it's going to take time. YouTube is great for a lot of people. SoundCloud is great for a lot of people. It depends on if you're doing electronic music that's got like a beat people want to move to. You could do Mixcloud. You could start creating mixes. You could do, if you love playlists, you could do eight tracks. Or you could do, there's all these tools out there. Think of something you really love and want people to, that you are really good at and find the community that's interested in that and start talking to them. Yeah. Mike? Shall I? Mic check. Oh, are we doing? You, uh, oh, no, broken mic. I just want to say one thing on that. I've uh, I had two shows on me um, because I played before somewhere else, and only one with a promoter. That was last week. No, this week. And I already feel I'm screwed up, so I decided to create my own shows. So if anyone has a band and a following, I, I'm already in touch with a few venues in London, and we're just gonna the mu the money will go to the venue and to the musicians, not to a promoter who doesn't do anything and screws us all up. So one was enough for me. So if you have a band and wanna, because I have a few venues, I need a venue with a grand piano because I play the piano. Then just let me know after the event. That's all I wanted to say. There we go. Network. Um, let's bring the mic. Yeah, Jim, are you okay? Do you have any merchandise? Do I have any merchandise? Yeah. So no, as I was saying, I have my, C my CDs, right. um, but merchandise is the, the thing I haven't really focused on. In, in some ways, I'm glad I didn't because I didn't really have the community at that point who would have been purchasing enough for me to spend the amount of time and effort it takes to get merchandise together. So at this point, what I, what I said earlier is that I'm looking at or considering doing an Indiegogo campaign specifically to raise money to have begin like have a package of merchandise that I can get started with. Right, because sometimes I get really angry on musicians because I go to a lot of concerts and I film uh, a lot of sofas here yeah. in London, and no, like ninety percent don't even have CDs. I don't talk about T-shirts or other stuff. They don't have their own music out there to, to give it or to sell it to people, you know? And guys, the, no, 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 that's a shame. You're playing, uh, let's say you're playing for free, but you don't want to sell your music. Because I don't have money to put it on a CD. I have it on SoundCloud. And it's quite, uh, I've got a... Reality, reality is it costs uh, the point is that you have a connection with 100 people or 50 people in a room and you can sell directly to them. You don't have Can I make a suggestion as well, yeah, in terms yeah. of where cuz I understand what you're saying about money. You know, I have like I have fans out here and I'm trying to get some money to put it on a CD. But I'd much rather when I met people on a CD, when I found 10 new people on a CD, I was like, "Wow, I want to meet you guys." Like, it was SoundCloud or my bandcamp and they support me to get into like this bandwagon that you were talking about. When I have a nice CD that I can probably <coughs> maybe in a Okay. Place. And I, I can Yeah, but I the point, wait, 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 the point is that people, uh, it's very hard to grab people to go to your profile on SoundCloud or on your uh, website, okay? When people feel very nice after your performance, they're really curious. They, they really want to explore something. So, okay, a pack of CD costs, I don't know, seven, ten pounds. Yeah, ten, mm -hmm. ten CDs. So you can really, it's not a huge well, problem. If you want a nice uh, sleeve and stuff. And no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Can I just make a comment about what you've just said? Because I understand what you're saying, and it's something I did want to bring up. Perfection can kill an artist. It will actually kill you if you, th if you think that, um, because what you're talking about is what you want, but you're not talking about what your audience wants. And if you want to connect authentically and have an interaction with the community, you've got to listen to what they want. And as a community member, if I come to your show and I love your music, if you've got a home burned disc of home recorded songs that you've drawn a little smiley face on, I will buy that shit. <laughs> so, yeah, honestly. I, I, I would say that audience, I, I shouldn't say it because that's what I want. I think that audience, like nowadays, some people want to see music. No, but you are, you, you're assuming, you're, you're saying that you, I think some people, you don't really know. Have you tried it? Have you experimented? I, yeah, so again, but just print some at home and take them to your next show. 
just do it. Just try it. Experiment. Throw yourself outside of your comfort zone, outside of the box. Um, quickly, before I ask my question, I just want to say, if, if you need to help doing CDs, talk to me after the show, because I've been doing music independently for a long time. I've made a couple of records and released it all, and we've got CDs and we've got it all online, but there are cheap ways to do it. It's just not easy, but um, talk to me after this. I'll happily show you how I'm doing it. Um, my question was, um, all right, so I'm on Twitter and I'm on Facebook and all that. Twitter is the only one that I don't use very much because I'm bad at it. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to say because I just sit there and then I'm like, well, what the hell am I supposed to say to on this, on this thing where I can only say one sentence? I'm confused. <laughs> so, um, no, because what am I supposed to do? So, um, yeah, what, what's the best way to approach? <laughs> so even this, this, this wouldn't fit in Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, what's the best way to approach uh, music fans on Twitter? So they're not music fans, they're people. And they're interested in lots of different things. So and I'm wrong already. <laughs> no, no, but it's good. It's, you're making mistakes. Mistakes are, I swear I have made more mistakes than I could. I should actually draw up a list of some of the stupidest mistakes that I've ever made. Um, but I learned from all of them. And so Twitter, it's, it's, what do I love about Twitter? I just, there's, there's something about the rapidity what people really get out of it, so you, you've been doing music for a while, so you have people who love what you do and, and, and are into that and connected with it. So I would start with the people who are currently following you and, and kind of experiment with them and, and just be like, so go through a few profiles even and see what they do, see what they're into, and then tweet at them. Say like, hey, how did we get connected? Um, like just what's, what's up? What are you doing? Oh, you live in the city. I've been there. Or just start a conversation. Twitter is really cool for like really quick rapid fire conversations and what they do is they give you an authentic yet very brief and easy to handle conversation with someone and as a fan dude i have tweeted like some who's one of my favorite amanda palmer she's one of my biggest influences and, ins and inspirations as far as the independent music thing goes and also connecting authentically with your community i've tweeted her loads of times she's replied i think twice those two times i was fucking stoked <laughs> she's got over she's got like a million and a half followers man she goes through that twitter feed every day and she replies to a bunch of people and, and, it's, and I know that if I saw her, there's no way she'd remember me, but I know that she would still connect with me in that moment because she cares that I'm a person who cares about what she's doing. And so I would say, yeah, start, I, I'm just making it up as I go along because that's not, I didn't do that. I didn't like go and, I just started tweeting stuff and then getting responses and then you can put, photos are really good if you want like quick, cool content. Instagram is a great way to link up and if, if you're into that kind of thing, if you're not, then it doesn't work as well. But um, if you have topics that your music relates well with, so for example, for me, um, the kind of ethical, eco-conscious, um, and, and also just independence of humanity and, and being real with one another and vulnerability, those things are, all matter to me and I talk about them all in my music. So if I share something about the 10 ways to connect more with your internal, kind of your child within, for, as an example, there's a high chance that the people who already are into what I'm doing are going to be interested in reading that. So it's not about me, but I'm giving them something of value that I'm interested in that I think they're going to be interested in. And it begins the conversations. So it's, again, the experimentation. I don't know what's going to work for you. But it really is about pushing outside that comfort zone, being like, I don't really know how to use this, but I'm just going to start talking about stuff on here. And, and, just, and, and read the streams of the people who are following you. What are they talking about? What are, and a lot of it's just crazy random shit, but there's some gold in there. <laughs> You know, like, and there's people living their lives. To me, what I really enjoy responding to, because I have this list of my, the, the friendly tweeters, and there's several hundred of them now who are the people who have engaged with me at one point or another. And I go through that stream, not every day, but when I feel like I've got a few minutes, I'll just go through. And sometimes people are things like, it's just like, wow, I'm having a bit of a rough morning or something. And I'll just respond and be like, shit, I hope it gets better. And I mean that in that moment. I'm there and I'm present and I know that, I, that, that and that person, it could make or change their entire week. So... Because even if I meet a stranger on the street and I'm looking sad and someone's like, hey, I hope your day gets better, that changes my week. So it's, it's that kind of thing. We can have very small micro experiences with one another. And that's kind of what Twitter's about, I think. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. And just to answer to Tom, um, I guess that every platform, you know, it's the, the learning curve where you, you don't really feel comfortable with the platform. I think just what Nate said, just start now, start tweeting, and then you feel comfortable with it, and you see the, res the restrictions and what you can do with them. Tag know. me. This is what it is. You, know, you, you learn about the restrictions of the platform, and then you, you express yourself accordingly. You, know, you cannot do everything in any platform. There is, the best thing you can do in Instagram is, is be visual and be, you know, say something emotional to people so they can probably like it on Facebook. 
but Twitter is about something else and Facebook about something else and SoundCloud about something else. So just, yeah, use the platform. That's the best way. So, yeah. yeah. If we take a few more questions and then, like, the cool, for those who are new to this, it's really fun to head down into the bar after this and, and actually network and hang out and talk about our passions and our dreams and our fears. And so, okay. yeah, don't run off any. Well, technically, I don't have any questions, but I would like to share something, if you allow me. No. So, <laughs> uh, basically... What I, what I learned here as being a music preneur and all the, the talks is that I learned how to define myself and what I wanted from my music. And mm -hmm. I, I start like defining me as saying, I have a vision. I do art beha be because I have a vision and my vision is to inspire. So I might write poetry, I might do music, but I want to inspire. Mm -hmm. So having that in mind, it like, guides me to every little thing I said uh, has to be like useful. So that's the starting point where I would like to share something now. And is I realize today that it's important that we don't confuse the medium with the message. Mm. So he's not talking about Twitter. Mm -mm. Twitter is not the thing. It's in which platform, let's say, can be like real life, you go and present yourself. So it's not about know how to tweet. Um, it's not about how to know how to post on Facebook. It's finding something unique with value and finding the right platform to showcase that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, I would like to show you a little story. There is a, a little, and it's related to what she was saying about the CDs. There is a small village and a big mountain. And because of the big mountain, uh, the mountain like blocks the sunlight. So the kids are growing rachitic, you know? So uh, a very old man is going to the mountain with a very small uh, teaspoon of made of porcelain. <laughs> and he's asked, well, what are you going to do with that spoon? I will move the mountain. <laughs> How? With this little spoon. <laughs> you will never be able to do that. Yes, I know. But somebody has to start, mm -hmm. you know. So I noticed myself because I made that mistake that musicians, they wait until we have like the perfect album mm. with 13 songs recorded in the best way possible. And instead of that, we record 13 songs, you know. Maybe you have 500 pounds. Why 13 or 14? Just go to the best studio record one song with the best quality that you can make because it's your budget and then you can print your CDs at your place one by one. Profession when, when you see somebody that you feel is professional, a professional musician, check the website, the videos, they have something in common. They have quality. They don't have quantity. They don't have 10 videos. They have two. They don't have 25 songs. They have Five, but they are fucking good. Absolutely. I, 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 can, I can answer that for myself. I can't answer it for you because you're on your journey and, and I celebrate whatever it is that you feel that you need to do. For myself, one of the biggest realizations I had, and, and this came through performing live, you know, I, I've been talking a lot about online tonight. I've performed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of live shows. Like I've played a lot, like I've toured, I've played I've house concerts, venues, festivals, I've done all of that. And one of the things I learned through that was that my perfectionism was taking away from my potential to experience. Because what people are interested in, and what I'm actually interested in, is not necessarily doing it perfectly, it's feeling it perfectly. So if I can get up onto that, what, what would happen is that I would get up on stage and I would play a few songs, I'd play my set, and I would have made a few mistakes here and there maybe, and I would think that the set was shit because of that. I would get off and be like, 
damn it, I, I messed up that thing. I dropped the line and I didn't, and the thing. And people would be coming up to me and going, wow, your music, it's, wow, I love it so much. And I was like, oh, thank you. You're so kind. Inside, I was going, oh, shit, that was terrible. I fucked it up. I got to go, home. you know. And, and I was actually creating reality. I was, create, I was choosing to create a reality that was only real because I was choosing to create it. The reality was everyone there was having an amazing time. I could, and then when I realized that, I was like, I made it, I remember making the decision one day. I was like, I'm just going to get up and, and I'm going to tell them that I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. I'm going to say that. And like, guys, I'm going to screw up loads tonight. I'm going I'm to like make some mistakes. And yes, I made mistakes. I didn't make any more than I usually did. But because I'd allowed myself that, I felt it. And I had a great time. And I didn't give a shit that there were a few mistakes in there. Everyone else felt it even more. And I learned through that that perfection is something for me which holds me back from feeling stuff perfectly. Because to feel it perfectly and to perform it perfectly can be two very different things, and both are important in their times. But for me, to feel it perfectly always will come first. I can have a question. OK. No, it's for, uh, do you pay your bills with your music? No, so I don't pay all my bills at this point with my music. I'm paying, I'd say I'm about halfway. And that's grown a lot in the last few months. So I'm rapidly on my way. Yeah. Yes, and I think then we should think about what Nate said. You know, if there is anything that can be talked about privately. Oh, I, before let's, you, let's do that. yeah, before I forget and before you ask your question. So I've broken um, one of my cardinal rules tonight, which is that I don't have any cards here. Um, so I can't give you stuff so that you can find me again. But obviously, you'll be getting all of this um, online. And the, the best way to connect with me personally, I know Tommy always sends out an email afterwards with direct emails to people. That is the best way to get in touch with me. And um, if you'd like to check out, he'll, he'll have links and stuff up there. So do connect with me. We can connect afterwards. We could take photos together and tweet some stuff. And um, yeah, just uh, to say that, please I'll do. I'll send everything on the email, the presentation, the, the link okay. to send everything. Perfect. 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 OK, so I basically have to say two things. Um, I'm not a mu musician, so I'm cheating here. Oh. I'm a failed class classically trained pianist. Oh. So about the mistakes and the perfection, uh, well, I was a big failure in piano. But about 10 years ago, I was attending this uh, huge concert of uh, Rachmaninoff concerts, and this former child prodigy was performing. of mistakes but it was a setting it was the atmosphere the ambience i don't know what but it was awesome and it was freaking rahman you know i mean <laughs> this is a, you break your hands trying to play this stuff so that's the first thing it's music is not about perfection it's about communicating try to you know provoke some feelings emotions to the other to, to your audience. And the second one is th that hearing, you know, this talk here, uh, just stop thinking fans, okay? Word fans is, has zero value with all this Facebook and Twitter and everything. Oh, I like this page, I'm a fan. No, you put just one video on YouTube, people will like it. Two videos, they will like it. There, you have fans. Try to think advocates. People that will have your back, no matter what. They're like friends. They're 10, 15, 20. They're not the crowds that may one day you know, fill a stadium. Mm -hmm. But they have your back, and they will give you feedback. Mm -hmm. And it's not about you know, the financial support, which eventually will come. But it's about them doing part of your job. Because your job is not only business, it's art. So having and nurturing advocates will help you spend less time in what we call business and focus on your art. They will do the word of mouth. They will do your job. They will say a good word to somebody who will ask on Twitter, hey, do you know any guy that makes cool, 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 cool music? Yeah, I have this one. That's it. I agree. Yeah, thanks. Right, so. 
Can I say one more thing, Tommy? Yes. Um, damn it, I missed my gap. I just want to say thank you to you because uh, you have done an amazing thing with these. And I've learned so much. This, I only started coming to these in January. I only heard about them then through my friend Oli here who spoke so beautifully now. Thank you for that. And, um, and this uh, really, I have felt honored to be, a, to be a part of this and that I get to speak at these. And I just would like to, to, to take that moment. And I think we should give this man a round of applause for what he's doing for all of us. Well, what I have to say about Nate is the reason he's here today, this day, is that in a month from now, he's going to the States. So he's a real troubadour. So he's going to move. You're going to be in a farm? In a Just for a few months, yeah. But I'm, yeah, I'm kind of embracing I, from part of my story. <coughs> and again, what people are connecting to is our stories. Um, part of my story is that I, I feel nomadic and it feels authentic to me. I feel like a real nomadic troubadour, one who shares the stories of the people between the communities the life and bloodline between communities. And so um, I'm, I'm going to spend some time on a friend's farm kind of camping and just like getting back into connecting with the ground a little bit. And then I'm not sure yet. At this point, I have a return ticket, so I'll be back for a bit. And I don't know, I have some different ideas that are beginning to flourish. So, so that's why he's here, because we will not have the privilege for the next few months, you know, to have Nate speaking. So thank you very much. You, I, I, think, I think this is something that really touched people. I, I can tell by the the round of applause that was really constantly going, never stopping. So thanks a lot. Uh, this, this was Darker Music Talks. This is something, this is a community that is becoming more vibrant every day. And I didn't expect that many people today. I was, I was, I w had my personal problem, so I didn't really promote it. And all of a sudden we have, I think it's close like to 50 people, 45 people here. We had, I told um, Megan that she doesn't need to bring that many chairs, you know, because we had 30, 36 <laughs> subscriptions, you know, and 70% show up. And now it's full and we had to bring more chairs and people are sharing chairs and stuff. Wow. So that's really awesome. Like the thing that you, you thank me for this, but the reality is that I'm just facilitating, you know, all these interactions. You know, you are the lifeblood of Darker Music Talks. And if you want to do something about it, first of all, you can, you can tweet it, Darker Music Talks, hashtag or at Darker Music Talks or on Facebook, Darker Music Talks. But... If you want to do something really cool, come again next time and bring somebody else that might get benefit from, from this, you know, from another expert or another musician that is creating cool stuff. You're an expert. Don't, don't oh, get me wrong. Oh, now I'm an expert. Expert musician. <laughs> expert <laughs> musician. Can expert I, musician. Before we go, there's one thing I'd like to try and do, another experiment. I have a Polaroid camera here and I'd like to try <laughs> awesome. and get a photo of as many of you as possible because I want to put this up on my wall and remember it. Um, so... I don't know how, many, how wide this lens angle is, but I'm going to give it my yeah, best shot. Take a photo of everybody. Well, what, but, well, that's a, I don't know. <laughs> wow, you really just like put me on the. What, what if we all come like closer? Yeah, if it just like squeeze in. Although actually it needs to be a bit back, I think, not this close. Because the, the, what, are you, really? I want I you in the photo though. It that, does, man. it does. But I want you in the photo. All right, so we, is this, sorry. I feel like I'm just, I was just going to take a quick photo. <laughs> yeah. You may need, it's, I don't know how wide the, the, the angle is. On the, yeah, it's the front, and it's the last one. That's the one, that's it. Is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you, your thumb's on with it. Yeah, just break my computer, it's fine. Okay, Yay! This is really hard, We need to squeeze in more. Squeeze in more? Squeeze in more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Act like you know each other really well. <laughs> Make some friends. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. Wow, that's so right. So now we have to wait. I have no idea if it's going to come out or not. So thank you very much. You guys have been. I've been honored, and thank you. Guys, one, one last thing I want you to do. It just, I want to hear like people screaming what, what is the takeaway they got. For oh, example, yes. do stuff that you can scale. Any, anybody else that wrote something down, you know, that want to share with the people? Do something. Message, no media. No media. Start now. Start now. Start now. Let people know how appreciative you are of this. Yeah. Okay, no, yes. Yeah. 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 These little things. These little what things. What was that one? Yeah. Don't wait. Yeah.
Yeah. Just go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. Post concert. Post concert. That turned out. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Woo!